Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting where I am so freaking excited you guys. Finally, finally, after years of curiosity, years of wondering how we could continue to do so much in the zoo and how we could expand the zoo, we have our answer. I finally have a way to hire new employees to come and join our zoo and have wonderful trades and thus organically and wonderfully grow our world. I know, I know that that sounds ridiculous. I know that that sounds kind of meticulous, uh, ridiculous and meticulous, but I promise you guys it is not uh, suspicious. Oh dear, I can't make a good rhyming pun out of that. What rhymes with ridiculous? You guys, you need to give me some answers. But it is actually not ridiculous. You see, this world needs help to grow, but it is help that will hopefully come in the form of respecting our survival roots and being able to really grow the zoo organically. I love nothing more than being able to grow our zoo in a way that reflects the needs of the animals here. And what better way to do that than to work with the zookeepers to work with them in order to gain experience to add more zookeepers to gain more experience to eventually have somebody who can freaking trade me a cow for like a deer for a cow that is my arch goal here my end goal is being able to trade all of the freaking cows in my redwood red wolf national forest for deer that we can add to the proper biome uh but oh man Oh man, yes, I am that ridiculously excited about this idea. But we finally, finally, finally have, oh, Tate, what are you doing on the counter? Ugh, that's okay, you're a good boy, I'm a good boy, Tate. Uh, but we finally have a way to be able to hire new people and also make it reflect the work we do in the zoo. So it won't feel super cheaty and it will respect our survival roots. And Jim, I am so grateful to you. Thank you so much for your help. Organizing all of this is going to just be so much easier thanks to her, you know, searching through the comments and the patron list and seeing exactly who might want to become one of the employees in the zoo. Which means you guys, which means make sure to leave your comments. It'll go into a random generator. If you're a patron, it'll go to the top of the list. It'll happen. You guys will be here. You can you can start working in the zoo. You can trade me my freaking cow deer. <laughs> which would be awesome. But anyway, uh, we do have some additions. Jim and I have been talking and we have been able to add a little bit more to what we can do with the zookeeper experience and how we will actually be able to add more life more education and more opportunities to Zudesia Zoo. And that's actually with more of the level two zookeeping experience. So you do have to do quite a few things. You have to grow food for the animals. You need to like clean their exhibits. You need to take good care of them. You need to help out the researchers gather things that they can research about the animals. But if you do that, you can get the normal zookeeper experience. And if you come here, you can upgrade your normal zookeeper experience when you have enough. For level two and eventually if you gather enough of level two and you have st a stack a stack of 64 which is so much you can get level three there's nothing currently available for level three but usually level three zookeeper experience is saved for being able to build an entire fountain build an entire shop like overnight to be able to have like a, a diamond statue of a giraffe those are the kinds of things that we would use level three zookeeping experience for for now we only need level two experience and we can use it to hire a whole new employee it could be a shopkeeper it could be a trader it could be a researcher for that six zookeeper experience level two and Jim and I have come up with even more that we will be able to work together to do. If we have one of those zookeeper experiences, we can get a guest pass, a guest pass to be able to add some of you guys into the zoo somewhere or maybe over in one of our national parks so, or even the Village of Light so that we really felt like we were bringing more life into the zoo. So I'm really excited about that because I've never felt sure when will we know that our zoo is is well developed enough friends when will we know that we have done enough that it is okay to allow guests to come in our zoo they all raided the place to see the baby giraffe last year and i'm still cleaning up the mess over there so we want to make sure we do it at a proper time in a in a kind of a, you know very even keeled way and again what better way to do that 
than to grow the zoo organically as we help the animals. <gasps> this is wonderful. This is so awesome. But to also work with that, you can get two level two zookeeper experiences. Try saying that five times fast. And you can now do retraining classes for some of the employees, some of the people we already have roaming around. And we can even use these retraining classes with some of the villagers in Zomberry Village. So if they wanted to be trained so that they could learn how to do trades, then we could actually come get this certificate and then they could learn a new trade. They already know how to do villager trades. But this way they would be able to do much more complicated trades, which would be so cool. And they'd be able to like wander around Zomberry Village or maybe they could start working in the zoo. That would be so wonderful to be able to take the poor villagers who were once zombie villagers themselves and give them a new opportunity to work in our zoo. That would be pretty cool. But all right, so I don't wanna go back to the Redwood Redwood National Forest just yet. I wanna be able to at least fill out not only the hiring ad for somebody to research the deer, but I think I want a bird researcher, so like an ornithologist, which would be a bird researcher. I'm thinking about making sure that we have either a wolf researcher or a herpetologist as well. So somebody to study the wolves or somebody to study uh, reptiles, which I haven't seen in the area. And I think we need to make sure we hire like a cook or a lumberjack. So I want to hire at least two or three more people just to the Redwood, Red Wolf National Forest before we go back. And that means, my friends, it is time to do work in the zoo. I am so excited. We're going to go around and see the places we can gather zookeeper experience. And if there are places that we might want to save our zookeeper experience so that we can hire the, or so that we can take the people we already have and possibly retrain them. This is gonna be really fun, Liliante. Come on, you two. Because it's been a long time since we've just like hecka wandered around the zoo and seen how we could improve the area to help out the animals, to help everybody thrive more. Sunflower, this is a very wholesome experience. I'm super excited to be like here in the zoo. All right, Sunflower, you go ahead and get in the safari net. The puppers, are they gonna follow me or are they set to wandering? Uh, Lily, oh, good puppies. All right, Lily and Tate are gonna follow me. And let's go see if there are any zookeeper experience trades in with the peafowl. Cause I think they have a lot going on all the time. Hang on you two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's Keeper Casey, there's researcher Tania. Uh, here's the peafowl egg. I need to fix the statue in here for sure. There is a bunny named Easter. You know what, we should probably take that bunny to Zomberry Village. <laughs> All right, guys. There is, whoa, there is oh, an escape toucan! Quick sunflower! We have an escapee! I saw him, he came right over here. There he is, there he is. I got him, 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 and then I let him go. I got him again. Lily and Tate, you weren't supposed to follow me on top of the mushroom. Oh my gosh, do we have escape toucans from our little toucan, like, spot right over here? Oh no! <gasps> One of their babies must have hatched! That's so cool! It looks like our toucans are just doing fine over here. Let me come in and visit with them for a second. Alright, it's okay guys, it's okay! I'm just checking on your little eggs! You're doing great! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! It's been so long since we've checked on them! Good job, guys. Good job. Here, I'm just gonna. No, 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 no. You don't want to. You don't want to go out there. You want to stay in your nest territory. I know. All right, let's wiggle this way. Close this. Close it. There we go. All right, looks like they're doing okay. There. They're just defending their little nest spot where they have burrowed into the tree over there. <gasps> Look at that. She's on her nest. Oh, that's so precious. <laughs> All right. Thankfully, we handled the toucan problem. No problem. And it isn't a problem, so I'm going to go ahead and release this wild toucan. How cool is that? All right. Oh, and we got some chive seeds from some of the peafowl. Very fun. But where was I? Ah, yes. 
There is so much to do in our zoo and we have been so busy. We haven't had time to go around and actually see what the animals we already have in the zoo need. So this opportunity to be able to start hiring more people in all of the areas of the whole world of Zoodesia is a great time to reflect on, you know, how we could possibly spruce up some of the different places of Zoodesia. So if you guys have some ideas, do let me know. But let's go ahead and begin by seeing Lantine, how are you doing? Lanite, even. Lanite is the kitten who really loves hanging out in the Peafall Garden, but I wonder if there's something that we could retrain her to help to do. Uh, here's Cassie, female Peafall. Nice to see you, Cassie. <gasps> Cheep Cheep! Cheep Cheep the duck somehow managed to get in here, which is really cute, but we don't need her to stay in here. And Easter the bunny is now on my head. Well, Easter, I kind of want to take you, I kind of want to take Easter over to, uh, can I put Easter in the pet amulet? Yes, okay. So I actually want to take Easter maybe up to Zomberry Village, actually the Azalea Garden. I think that would be a better place to leave, uh, to, you know, leave a bunny. And Lily, now you're going to be stuck there for a while, my dear. We'll have to work on that. But I've actually been thinking that this area is a little bit overcrowded with plants because you want to be able to come and speak with the zookeeper and she's kind of hiding in the back corner. <gasps> There's so much stuff we can trade her. Zookeeper Casey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Would you like to see the little gecko I caught? Poor little guy was almost eaten by one of our peafowl. I totally forgot she had so much stuff. There are so many beautiful butterflies here. I catch them for fun. Would you like to see the emerald butterfly I found? Oh, Casey, bless your trades. So we can actually come and trade her entire berry gardens for a lot of zookeeper experience. Um, we can also bring her ants if we had any ants and the bee fowl would eat that. We can bring her raw snails for a lot of experience. We can make berry bowls, lettuce seeds, normal seeds, bring her wheat or lettuce. Oh, the eggs. Oh my gosh. I have so many eggs I could trade her. Ah, why is it only at 55? Okay, we'll have to talk to her about the egg trades, but I actually have so many different peafall eggs that we could trade her at 10%, which would be really useful. I probably have a bunch of them at 55. I guess we could actually take these. She wants us to take care of the eggs until they're at 55 and then trade us. That makes sense. So we could help her out with the peafall in here. I think that would be good. I also think, I know this seems really weird, but I think this is too many plants. So I'm actually gonna clean like up some of these and move them. And you guys know how rare that is for me. Normally I think like the more plants the better, but that already makes it a lot nicer in here for everybody to come and like have lunch with the peafowl, I guess. And I wonder if there's a way to actually try to keep the peafowl. Like maybe we should set up a little fence so people can have a chance to, <gasps> yes, one of them dropped a feather. Yes, all right. Casey, Casey, come here. I have a feather for you. There we go. More zookeeper experience. See, this will work out, guys. I think it'll be fun to spend a few days roaming around the zoo and actually taking care of the animals here and figuring out ways we could better their lives. Uh, for instance, let's see, Titus. We have so many peafowl. They've got a lot of eggs. All of the eggs are at 10%. We have a sheep. Oh, there's a parrot here. What is a wild parrot doing here? I have no idea. There's two wild parrots here. Sheep, there we go. We'll move that sheep, just a normal normal sheep out of here. Like, I'm, I don't remember our parrots being in here, but they've come to hang out with our peafowl. And then there is a mushroom here who does not need to be here too. So just kind of nice to like tidy up the area and we'll earn some experience while we're at it. Ooh, and we can gather these gardens. All right, there we go. These will be great. These are the gardens that will just grow on their own. And we can actually come in and trade all of these. Nice. The birds seem to be pretty happy. We have a lot of peafowl. And researcher Tania, what are your trades? Oh, that's right. Animal territories are complex. 
things, but I can tell you one thing. I think these Peafeld are annoyed to have other animals in their area. Oh, well, actually, I was literally just working on that, so that works. But researcher Tania focuses only on one thing. That's her specialty. And that is actually the invisible territories that the animals have. So we really want to be able to... Uh, only work with her when we want to set up spots that we want to keep animals in because it's their territory and keep other things out even if you can't see because it's invisible the lines that make up those different zones so she's really fun to talk with i feel like the peafall garden could use like a few decorative pieces <gasps> more it or more more feathers oh thank goodness but i feel like we have almost too many peafall I wonder if we should maybe hire another researcher to... Oh, an ant! Oh, we did find a little ant somewhere in here. Cool. But I, I do think maybe it would be helpful if we were able... Let's take some of these berry bushes. Oh, and more eggs! See what I mean? Like, it's really cool to be able to come over and just spend some time actually, like, searching, collecting... Oh, there's a parrot egg! Okay, no parrot babies, but that would have been really cool. But like searching and like here's more gardens we can collect and just finding spots where everything was a little overgrown and now we've made it a little bit better there's a chicken here with flavia flavia how are you flavia could probably use we could probably retrain her so that she could talk about things that she wants for her own like personal personal needs she's been working here with us for years so i'm sure she could really use something like I don't know, a different kind of drink, or maybe she would like a new book to read. I think that sounds pretty cool. Also, give me one second, Flavia. I will get this chicken out of the way. Hello, little chicken. All right, we'll move you. I think I'll just go ahead and put this mushroom out. Oh, that's right. See, this is what I mean. I started a lettuce garden a long time ago to help feed the peafowl. And now we can just come over and harvest from it like so i'm even going to set this mushroom free out here and now see that's what i mean by having like a living organic zoo because now we have more ways that we can help out i do think we have too many people though i i mean maybe maybe it's kind of nice to have them hiding like in all these different corners but I wonder. Maybe it's just because it feels kind of crowded in here with all of the plants. I wonder if we should actually like clear out some of the bushes in the middle here so that the peafowl had more room to roam. Yeah, like that, Tate. Hmm, I might actually do that. I recently learned that peafowl, and here you go, Tate. Uh, this is a little awkward, feeding you guys duck, sweet potato, and cranberry in front of birds in all directions, but there you go, Lily. All right, let's just let's just get that out of the way. Yeah, I have recently learned that people actually prefer to be kind of in more open areas, and there's probably too many males in this place. Uh, they might get a little competitive, but I don't know. I feel I feel kind of comfy with how many are in here. We'll have to think about it. And I'm pretty sure it'd be really cute to be able to retrain Lanite to be able to do something to help out around here. Because I know you love the beauty of the peafowl and all the colors of their feathers. But I wonder if there's anything we could have you do, little Lanite. So, all right, let's see all the experience that we got from helping out just with the peafowl garden and tidying it up. All right. There we go. So many bushes. There. Lots of nice bushes. We found an ant. Oh, two ant eggs. Nice. We found three there we go we found like a whole bunch oh look at all of this <laughs> that went so much faster than i thought it would nice all right we actually got a lot of zookeeper experience that's fantastic lily let's go ahead and get you not stuck to that chair if i can find where i have put things oh and flavia is trying to con convince us the frozen coffee is very refreshing today oh just imagine if we just had guests and and people talking all the time in all directions, everywhere, about what the zoo was like. It would really bring it to life. And the only thing we need to do to bring the zoo to life is take care of it. And then come on in. Good morning, Jim. It's a little foggy today, my goodness. And trade all the stuff we gathered. Yes, for another hiring ad. 
<laughs> oh, that's so exciting. I kind of feel like we should hire like an ornithologist now to study the birds at the Redwood Red Wolf National Sanctuary because we've got like all of that earned from helping out with the peafowl, from helping out with just one section of our whole zoo. That is awesome. That really does feel like the place is going to come to life. But alright guys, oh, I know this is kind of silly, but it is definitely going to be a great way to organically grow our zoo and bring it to life. And speaking of bringing it to life, I have pockets and pockets and pockets full of animals now that I'm not exactly sure what to do with, so we'll have to find a place for them. I have more toucan eggs. I kind of want to go see Shelly. Yeah, we've just got a bit to do. So we'll take things one step at a time and make sure that we can get at least a good handful of hiring ads. Maybe we'll add in some more gardens and some expansions to our beautiful Zudesia Zoo. And slowly but surely, we will bring this place to life. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for all of our charming peafowl. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.